Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. In today's video, I'm going to actually kickstart my holiday makeup looks. So this is gonna be one of three that I share with you guys this week. Today's look is going to be a more subtle kind of holiday sort of a look. It's gonna be very simple to achieve with a little bit of glitter and a glossy lip. I'm also going to be sharing a look with a red lip later this week, as well as a pretty full glam sort of a look. So stay tuned for those videos if you're interested in that. But for today, let's go ahead and kickstart it with a nice subtle holiday makeup look. I want this look to be very glowy and healthy looking, so I'm actually going to use two primers today. I'm going to start out with this one from Wet n Wild. This is my favorite. I feel like I talk about this like all the time, but this is the Glass Perfect primer and I have the green one. But you could also use your moisturizer for this step or another glowy primer if you don't own this one from Wet n Wild. And I'm also being very generous with this product because I do want that glass skin effect. I want my makeup to look very healthy and radiant today. Then I wanna use this product from Glossier. This is the Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. I use this as a very glowy primer. I just use a little bit, like not even a full pump. And then I'm just gonna put this kind of on the cheeks and then blend it out wherever it will kind of go to, but I'm not gonna put it in the very center of the face, anywhere really near the nose. If your skin is naturally on the oilier side, you might wanna skip this step, but I have very, very dry skin, so I'm almost trying to give my skin the look that it might be like a tad bit oily before I put on the foundation, just to help give it as much moisture as possible. And then I'm even gonna go in with a glowy sort of a foundation. I can always set down the areas that I want to be more matte, but I really wanna go with a nice glowy base. This is when I wish I still had the foundation from Koki, the HD Perfect, but I don't, I use that one up. So I'm going to opt for just my most radiant looking foundation, which happens to be this one. This is the Illuminance Foundation from Revlon and I have the shade 113. And then I'm going to blend this out with a sponge. I'm just starting on half of the face right now because that's how much product I pumped out. This time of year is when my skin starts to really, really dry out. So I want to really almost overcompensate for the really dry skin and go with a nice glowy look. I think it looks really healthy this time of year, even though a lot of us for some reason tend to go for a more mattifying look in the winter. I think that there's something really, really nice about wearing a more glowy, radiant look this time of year. I also wanna point out that sometimes radiant looks don't translate the best on camera. Unfortunately, because I love how they look in person, but it might look a little bit greasy on camera, but there's really no way for me to get around that without setting the face with powder. And that's really not what I'm wanting to do today. So I'm just going to do the best I can to make a more dewy look look good on camera. But this hopefully will look better in person even than what you guys are able to see. It's just kind of hard to show a really good radiant look on camera. Okay, next up, I wanna use this under eye corrector. This is from Lottie London. This is such a good product and it's so affordable. So I think it's around $6. My nails are a little bit longer, so it's honestly kind of hard to dip into this product, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with a sponge. And if you also try a look like this and you tend to have more oily skin, and especially throughout the day, if it gets more oily, you could always just keep a compact of powder you know, in your purse and be able to powder as needed. But just keep in mind that I do have really dry skin, so you might not see me use as much powder as you would want. So right now I'm adding on some concealer from Rare Beauty. I've got the shade 140C in this concealer. And in the Lottie London under eye brightener, I have the lightest shade that it comes in. I think it just comes in two options. Okay, I'm happy with how the under eyes are looking. I am just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that concealer to the cheeks. I do have a lot of redness, especially on my left cheek, but I have a little bit on the right side as well. I have been wearing so many matte looks lately that it's honestly really exciting for me to see a glowy look on my skin. It's just been so long and I'm wondering why I haven't been wearing glowing looks lately. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the brows with this brow pencil from NYX. This is the micro brow pencil in the shade Cool Ash Brown. I'm also gonna use a little bit of the Lift and Snatch product also from NYX. Um, this one, is in the shade Ash Brown. And I'm gonna use this in the very front part of the brows. I try to use that pencil and it just never comes out the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this marker. 
I'm actually loving how glowy my makeup looks right now. If you're wanting this really glowy look, I would honestly suggest picking this one up from Glossier, this Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. This makes all the difference. It peeks through your foundation, even if you don't wear a really hydrating looking foundation. This one will give you that glow that you're looking for. You can really build it up or just add a little bit, but I love that product. The cheeks is where I'm gonna really pay attention to the products I'm putting on. I'm probably gonna use two different bronzer products and then two different blushes. So I'm gonna start out with this Oma bronzer and contour stick or contour and highlight stick. I'm gonna start out with the contour side and this is the lightest one. It's in the shade White Pearl. They now actually sell this just as a contour and i would suggest that over this duo just because I, I never use the highlight it's not as much of a wow product to me as the contour is but when i purchased it you could only get the duo so i would really suggest picking up the just the contour um, from what i've heard it's the same exact formula but also i always mention but wait for them to go on sale because i think full price this duo at least used to retail for $40, but I got mine for like 15 or 20. It goes on sale quite a lot. Okay, then I wanna add this cream blush from Undone Beauty. This is in the shade Flare. I just feel like this shade would be really pretty for a wintry sort of a look. So I'm gonna pick some up with the back of my sponge. I feel like this gives you that nice flushed sort of a look. It looks very like wintry and fresh without using like a red sort of blush that I see some people use for that kind of wintry look. I think this is a nice alternative. Like how pretty is that? I think this product works so well all year round. It could be very pretty with a more bronzy look for summer, but I also feel like it looks so nice with this sort of a look for winter. Oh, I really like that. Okay, I don't wanna build it up too much because I do want this to be like a nice fresh sort of a look. I can always add more later on if I want it. So I'm gonna leave it at that for now and let's go ahead and add some powder to the face. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. This one's in the light pink compact. I feel like they have so many powder options, but I'm gonna be pretty targeted with where I'm adding powder. I don't wanna put this all over the face because I'm really liking the glow that this look has. So I'm gonna put this on the under eye area. I'm also gonna press this right around the nose. I'm gonna add a little bit between the eyebrows, kind of into that eye area and then right above the brows. And then I'm gonna add a little bit to the chin and then right around the nose a little bit farther. And then I wanna put some on top of the nose as well. So just kind of right in the center of the face, I'm gonna leave everything else really nice and glowy. Okay, now for the eyeshadow, I wanna use the Rose Quartz palette from Huda, but I wanna keep the eyeshadow very, very minimal. So what I was thinking I would do is dip into the shade called Cherish, this nice light pink shade. So if you have a shade like that in any of your palettes, that's the one I would dip into. I am going to pat out the concealer that's on the eyelids. I'm not gonna worry about priming the lids because I'm really not doing a lot on them with shadow. I just wanna press out the concealer creasing. So I'm adding this nice light pink shade all into the crease as well as in the outer portion of the lid. And I am gonna run this on the lower lash line as well. We're gonna add a little bit of the shade called Happiness, which is a bit of a darker pink. I'm just gonna put this on the outer portion of the lid and then kind of blend it into the crease just to mix it pretty well with the shade Cherished. Then I'm gonna use the single shadow from Ulta. This is the bouncy eyeshadow in the shade Buttercream. And I wanna put this all over the lid. I think this shade in particular adds a really nice kind of snowy looking look to the lid when you use it, which is just very, very perfect for a holiday look. And you can kind of build it up. It's not gonna be super intense, no matter what, in my opinion, just because it doesn't really have like a pigmented base to it. But if you build it up and put it over, you know, another shadow, or if you're kind of blending it in like I am now into a different color into the crease, it can really add a nice, sort of holiday look. So I've dipped into the compact about four times now just to really build up the glitter and I'm putting it all over the entire lid. So bringing you guys a little bit closer, here is a look with the single eyeshadow versus without. So you guys can tell that it does add quite the little bit of glimmer to the look. So I'm gonna go ahead and of course add this to the other eye. I accidentally brought that shade kind of into the inner corner on this eye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and match it on my left eye and kind of run with it. I'm not being too precise with where this shade is ending up, but I do really like the combo of like the light pink with this. I wanna add a little bit of this blush from ColourPop to the look. 
This is a more mauve type of color, but I think it will pull in the eyeshadow color into the cheeks a little bit by adding something that has a little bit more purple into it because the shade Flare in the blush that we used earlier is just a little bit more peachy. So I wanna try and really blend these together. But this is the shade I Need Space from ColourPop. I don't exactly have a blush that's going to perfectly match with this. So this isn't exactly doing what I'm wanting it to. I'm actually just gonna dip my blush brush into the shade Cherished, being very careful not to dip it into any of the neighboring shades. But I'm dipping it into Cherished, which is the lightest matte shade that we use. And I'm just gonna add this on the cheeks like as a blush. And that's exactly what I needed. Can you guys see the difference between without that shade on top and then with it? This is a very foolproof way to mix in, make your look monochromatic by just dipping into the actual eyeshadow itself because then you know it's the right tone. But I do really like those other blush shades underneath this one. So it helps it make it look not exactly the same. I'm bringing that shade Cherished over the nose as well. With my sponge, I wanna just pat over the whole face especially right there on that blush area. And then even though I do have a glowy look on, I do wanna actually add a highlight as well. This is from the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Duo. Just wanna add a little bit of this right to the very high points of the cheek. But I'm happy with the bronzer level. I think I'm gonna leave it as is with just that little bit of contour. I was gonna add the bronzer from this. So if you're wanting more of a bronzy look, definitely go ahead and add some more. But I'm really happy with how it's looking just as is. Before I add mascara or any lip products, I'm gonna go ahead and use setting spray. This is the one I've been using constantly lately. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This product seriously helps your makeup last all night long. If you're going somewhere and you need your makeup to last, it's a really, really great option. So once it's mostly dry, again, I'm gonna pat over the face with my sponge. This also just helps your makeup like melt into place. Like you can't tell where one product ends and the next begins. I'm gonna curl the lashes for this look because I think it's just going to add a little bit to the look, especially since the eyeshadow is so simple. It'll be nice to have the lashes kind of come up and go on top of them. My lashes are very straight, so if I don't curl them, they almost don't go above the eye look. So it kind of depends on what I'm going for. I do want kind of a fluttery lash look, so I'm gonna use this one from Oma. This is the mascara called Salute to the Sun from Oma Beauty. This one is nice. It's not like my favorite, um, but it's nice. And this will give you that kind of fluttery lash look. It's not gonna be too intense, at least not right off the bat. You can build it up some, but I'm gonna leave it kind of simple for today. I am gonna add this on the lower lash line. It's just, I feel like I don't look like me without mascara on the lower lash line. I'm not exactly sure the products I wanna use on the lips, but when I sat down to film this video, I was thinking that I wanna come up with a lip combo that looks like a sugar cookie. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna go for and we'll see kind of what we can come up with. I want something neutral, but I do want a glossy lip. I just got this gloss from Milani, but I don't think this is gonna be really what I'm going for. It's a little bit too peachy. So I pulled this one from Essence and I think this might be kind of more so what I'm going for, but let's see what I can come up with. Okay. I've got quite the options to try out, so let's see how many tries it takes me to get what I have in my head because I don't own a product that's like exactly what I'm thinking. So I'm hoping we can achieve this by mixing a few different tones together. I think that this lip liner is gonna be my best bet. This is the shade Nude Beige from NYX. I don't have a ton of lip liners and this is one of my more cool tone ones. I think I am gonna mostly fill in the lips with this as well. Cause so far this is actually the color Pretty similar to what I'm thinking of. Gosh, my poor lips are so dry. Okay, for lipsticks, I pulled two options. One that's like really cool tone and one that's a bit more of like a neutral brown because I kind of thought mixing a brown and then doing a more cool tone lip gloss could do the trick. But I'm looking at it, I don't think that's, I don't think that's gonna be Right, so let's start out with the cool tone option. So this is the shade called 330 from the Ulta Beauty Lipsticks. I think this one's called Dusty Mauve. This is the exact sort of cool tone that I was looking for. So I might not jump straight to the cool tone lip gloss. Okay, I swatched the three glosses here so we could see. So on the top, that is Buxom's 
full on plumping lip polish in the shade Sugar. So that's this one right here. And then the middle one is Natasha Denona, My Dream. And then we have the Essence Cookies and Milk, what's it called? Milky Cocoa. I always get this one confused with the NYX gloss, but this is the Essence Milky Cocoa right here. So I think that actually this one from Buxom is what I'm going for because I want to put it over the cool tone lips. So I think that's gonna give me what I'm looking for. So let's try that out. I'm gonna be so proud of myself if I get this on the first try. <laughs> I feel like I always have to try lip combos multiple times. I'm gonna blot a little bit of that off. And then just add back some right in the middle. Put a little bit too much all over the lips. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was going for. I am so proud of myself right now <laughs> for getting that on the first try. I think swatching them actually really helped so I could see what I was wanting to go for, but I really like that lip combo. Okay, well, this is gonna be the final look for my more subtle holiday makeup look. I feel like adding a lot of sparkles and a lot of light pink colors just all together can really create a nice holiday look. Let me know down below what you guys think about this look and how it turned out, if you guys like it or not. I, again, will have two more holiday looks coming for you later this week, so be sure to stay tuned to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and also turn on the post notifications so you guys will be notified every single time that I post. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.